Peggy 7. We're really good at pushing boundaries at Bugbear. The reason why Bugbear is basically working on Ridge Racer, I think, is totally because of our physics technology and the destruction that we have. We started uh, designing the cars by going by the main philosophy of power. We wanted to have figures and silhouettes of powerful looking vehicles. So we can have certain elements in the game be driven by very realistic physics, while other things can be hand-tuned for like arcade action movie-like experiences. Each car has around uh, 40 pieces. The car had to look like it could punch through a wall. What we want to do is have you plow through walls like a fist through a wall, car getting scratched and bumped, but your flow is not disturbed. In order to get, gain the uh, destruction power in the game, you need to be driving in a very cool fashion. So drifting, slipstreaming, airtime. So once that is fouled, you can then unleash the destruction power, which again helps you race better. You can have hundreds, if not thousands, of objects you can drive through, you can smash them up. All the damage on the track is persistent. Every small trash can that you topple over will be just like that for the duration of that race. All of the racing feeds into the destruction, which feeds into the racing and so forth. So we spend a fair bit of time trying to make sure that there's a really good gameplay cycle going. There, there aren't many games where you can turn your car into a post box. This is really dynamic and concrete. You're delivering the hits. 